Today we're going to be tying a sheet bend. Let's assume that you have two lines, neither one of which is long enough to reach your objective. So you want to join those two lines. The way to do that is with the sheet bend. You begin, now, you can do this with lines of the same size or like I have here, lines of different size. You start by taking a bite in the larger of the two. You come up through the bite with the other line. You go all the way around the standing parts and the bitter end. And then you go back under itself. Don't go back down through the bite. Just go underneath the line you pulled up through the bite. And you draw it snug. It's very similar to the reef knot or the square knot which is what you would have had you gone down through the bite. This knot is very dangerous. It's good for tying first aid stuff like a sling. It's good for tying your shoes and it's good for fancy work. Other than that, it's a very dangerous knot because it can tumble and fall apart. It's caused a lot of accidents, so I, I'm not a big advocate of the reef knot. You start by making a bite, you come up through the bite, you go around the bitter end and the standing part of the bite, and you go back under itself, and you snug it down. The only place you really need to be careful is to make sure that you do not allow this to slip below the bite, because once again you'll end up with a slip knot that won't hold anything. So, you come up through the bite, you go around the bitter end and the standing part of the bite, and it goes back under itself. You draw the whole thing snug, and you have a sheet bed. It's very safe, very secure, it will not slip, it will not bind, and it's about the easiest way to join two pieces of line there is. The sheet bend.